wanted to make an assembly and fitment video for this AR-15 stock that I based on a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 stock. Uh, this is more, yeah, more for budget friendly 3D printed lower receiver builds. I, I tried to find something very basic online and this was about the best I could come up with as far as things that other people had created and it works all right but I had fitment issues with it and I got tired of dealing with it every time I printed a buff or tube I had to do some very extensive uh, dremeling, filing, sanding to get it to fit properly I didn't like all the other multi-piece builds so I took some quick measurements and came up with this to avoid having to buy the pins and everything that comes on your store-bought variety I decided to go to the hardware store I found that an SAE 832 by inch and a half will work um, a M4 by 40 fits a little bit better but our hardware store didn't have any metric that size, so we went with 832. As far as springs, this was a, a 10 inch piece of quarter inch spring. I cut one at 40 millimeter and one at 50 millimeter to try them out. I like the spring pressure on the 50 millimeter better. That's personal preference. Both of them work. Start by sliding the spring onto the bolt use an allen wrench to hold it and install it push it down in slide your lever over top washer and a lock nut you can use a regular nut if you want to use a dab of loctite or something that's fine now that we have that on we can take our pliers and you just want to turn it until there's three or four threads sticking out past the nut. That seems to be a good size. We'll test it on the printed buffer tube. It engages. You can see there's some wobble. Again, this thing has been sanded and filed and dremeled to fit other stocks. So I kind of figured this was going to happen. There's also a bit of a gap down here at the bottom. If we get rid of that, I'm sure that would help. This is a Palmetto State Armory lower receiver with a metal buffer tube. You can see fitment is much tighter. There's much less wobble. Uh, I do still have a bit of a gap down here at the bottom. But we are able to use the stock as it should work. This is an M&P. These are injection molded. Again, you can see it works on this one too. Still a gap at the bottom. Still a little bit of wobble. And the forward and back motion, you can see causes the bolt to move. And that's likely because the hole that goes through the center isn't a tight, tight fit. And also on your store-bought buffer stocks, there's a, a large pin in there. And using a bolt just doesn't provide the same fitment. Short of stacking a bunch of washers or something onto that bolt, you're not going to be able to get the play out of it. I could try to make it tighter, but then you can get into fitment issues that could be more of a pain in the ass to fix than just having a little bit of slop. I mean this is something for plinking around in the yard or putting on a display model. This isn't for you know going out and doing a three gun competition or something so there's only so much you can expect from it. Also given the short amount of time I spent with it on Tinkercad I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. I did try to put some texturing on the back of it like the store-bought models and I tried a one by one by one pyramid obviously they came out like shit I have another model available on Thingiverse that has a three by three by three pyramid 
I have not printed it yet, but I am going to assume that it will come out much better. Uh, if you guys want to see any changes, maybe holes for a sling mount. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to mess around with these holes for the hooks. I, it's not that I don't think it's strong enough. I just don't really care to have all that extra stuff on guns that I just plink around with in the yard. If you guys want the files uh, public, I can make them public on Tinkercad and you can do whatever you want with them. If you want to make them and sell them, I don't care. It, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's open source for a reason. If I cared, I wouldn't have put it on the internet for free. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know what you think. Otherwise, check out my designs on Thingiverse. And uh, maybe there's something else on there you'll find useful.